a philanthropist and public affairs analyst, has urged Nigerians to exercise restraint and patience with the current administration. Comparing the situation to the recent demonstrations in Kenya, Chris Onyekachi Simon acknowledged Nigeria's right to protest but noted that the country lacks Kenya's organized system. The founder of the Chris Onyekachi Foundation expressed opposition to the protest, cautioning that Nigerians may end up harming themselves. By the uh, 1st of August, as they proposed the protest, you see many of them will come and be destroying markets, shop rights. Is it market woman that is the cause of the problem? They are not the cause of the problem. And that is why we are, I am calling on the youth and those who believe in me, my followers all over the world, to encourage and speak to their people, whether in the village, anywhere they have a relation, to speak to them, to, for them not to join the protest. Because joining the protest will not lead us anywhere. Yes, Kenya did yes. But if you look at it, you see there is no a lot of casualty. But come to Nigeria, it's going to be a different ball game. People will die, market will be destroyed, property will be destroyed, a lot of things will happen. And at the end of the day, these people that their property were destroyed are people who went to bank to borrow money. Some are microfinance people. At the end of the day, you put these people into more problems. Onyekachi called on the government to support youth development in creating an enabling environment that would engage them productively and generate job opportunities. Additionally, he outlined support from his foundation to alleviate the challenges faced by students. Likewise, if you go down to the east, where we have our representatives there, go to different markets there, you see what we have done. You go to university here in Lagos, Unilab, we have our students there, students that were paying their money. You go to nursing school here in Lagos, secondary school, privates, we pay their bills. You go to Univen, we have our students there. You go to UNN, we have our students there. You go to Enugu, Esut, University of Technology, we have our students there. You go to Kogi State, we have our students there. And all these people are our students that we have given scholarship and we have been paying their school fees to see that life is easy for them and for them also to be a better person in the society. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.